And I'm just going to pray to start this service. I'm just uh, following what Scripture says in 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 through 2, and I think a time like this is important to consider what God would have us do. I urge you then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, and intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful, quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. So I just want to start our service praying uh, for our nation this week. Lord, thank you for the freedoms we have in this nation. Thank you that um, you care about us individually and you care about our nation. We pray that more than anything, Lord, we be captivated by you, knowing that you are King of kings and Lord of lords, and you're the only one that can lead us to freedom, joy, and peace. We do pray for President-elect Joe Biden. You give him wisdom as he leads this nation. We pray for a peaceful transfer of power and help us, even as we might have differences with those coming to power, whether we do or not, pray that you would honor, that we would honor you, Lord. Help us to honor you in our response and that you would be glorified. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.